Oh no! What happened? Another one? This is the fourth time, huh? How was the date? Not good, I'm guessing, huh? Four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. That's a lot of date that you've been going in and well, kind of you're just the only person there. I think that's a signal. It's sad, but these are pretty, pretty nice though. You have good taste, buddy. That I can tell you. But I have something to help you, you know, kind of just to help you out, attract that person that probably will reciprocate what you're looking for and what you're bringing into the table because you're bringing a lot of love over here and nothing's being returned. Here, I'll show you something. Look at it. These are the things that might help you attract that person. The right one. The one that vibes with your frequency. You have here a very wonderful rose quartz. This vibes to the part of unconditional love and kindness and also friendship. You have agate, citrine, and amethyst. Amethyst promotes inner peace and healing, which you need in order for you to express your love. And of course, you have wonderful, amazing, clear quartz over here that promotes harmony in the relationship. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, take it. It's pretty good. Now, that's yours. I'm going out tonight and I have a date. So I'm keeping this, okay? Good luck with your date. And you don't need to wish me luck because I have that with me a long time already, okay? <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Cosmicology. Um, this is the episode where we discuss the rising in the moon on February 19th, the full moon and where it's happening. Now, this full moon happening and um, um, we have discussed it at Eatree Loving. It's gonna be on the, how to say this, in uh, um, the whole discussion is on that side of the channel. Here we discuss the rising in the moon Pisces. Are we ready? We're ready, okay. Well, I'm ready, okay, I'm ready for lunch. Pisces, okay. For the Pisces, it's gonna be happening in your fifth house. Okay, so what's gonna happen in your fifth house? Fifth house is dating, romance, procreation. This is this is also creativity. Okay, so what's gonna happen there? There are things that you always wanted to do, that you always wanna be creative about, that you felt like you can't. It's time soon, 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 soon. Not yet, not yet, but it's gonna be time soon. Plan it. Okay, if you're dating, start planning, I feel like long term, I feel like it's good for you to start planning long term, with or without them. This is about welcoming an energy that's coming your way, okay, with or without them. Basically, it's an eternal, eternal planning, meaning it's like if this is the person that you're dating, are they going to be for the long term? Or this is only, well, is this just a fling? Is just, are, we, are we just, you know, it's like, are we just dating? Are we just talking? Are we just texting? Are we just going to be online dating? You know, so this is the realization that you will have. It's like, is this going to be for long term? Because this is reflective of um, your creativity. This is about you want to progress. You want to create. So it's a, it's a moment for the full moon to for you to realize what do you want to create in the relationship, in the dating sector, in your house of creativity. What are you going to take action off? Okay, because it's very important because this is where you date. This is where you fall in love. When you're falling in love right now, or if you have fallen in love in the fifth house right now, do you see being with this person long term? Do you see it? And that's a time that you, you don't make a decision that day, okay? But it's for you to be enlightened. 
the moon is going to show it to you. Now, Ashleisha and Mercury is over there. Now, how it works with that one, this person probably, um, I'm just saying, um, can have, can be, um, you know, it's like I don't predict health, but this is about, um, can be, they, they're probably going to feel a little down, a little low, you know, they're not going to be in the full energy that day, whoever you're dating, they might be a little feeling like, oh, I'm not feeling good, you know, and then for you, it's like you're just realizing also, it's just like, oh, hey, this is time for me to have time for myself and realize this is the person, because they're going to be a little bit detached, I feel, I feel like it's going to be a little detached for you to realize what do you really want them. Okay, in the house, uh, in the fifth house. With your creativity, like, you know, it's like this is your something that you like as a craft. This is the time also where you would explore more of it. Either you will love it or you will hate it. Remember, it goes in duality. If you love it, because you remember this house of falling in love, it's something that you always love doing. You always have to keep going, keep doing it because you love it, okay? So thank you very much, Pisces. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, this is one of the first and hopefully, there's going to be more to come. I'll see you. Bye.